Here on NewsRound, we have shown you the latest consoles, the Xbox Series X, the Series S and the PS5. But what about the games? Well, there have been some pretty cool releases recently and some games have just had a next-gen upgrade. So here are some of the top games to look out for this season. FIFA 21 released in October this year. That was now gen. This is next gen. The new version of FIFA has better graphics, more reactions added for those big goal moments, and new cinematics, like shots of teams arriving on their coaches and fans entering the stadium. This is football at its most realistic. For all you American football fans out there, Madden NFL 21 also has a next-gen upgrade. And this is pretty cool. The new game uses something called next-gen stats, which is data from real athletes in real NFL games. It's tracked the movements and speeds of thousands of real players and brought that info right into the game so that your game looks and feels even more realistic. And just like FIFA 21, if you've already bought the game for now gen, aka PS4 or Xbox One, then you will get a free upgrade to the new game with that next gen console. If you've got a PS5, then you will have Astro's Playroom. It comes with the console and is exclusive to the PS5. The game is basically about showing off the best of the new controller and how to use it, but it's a fab little game in its own right. I've played it over and over because at the moment it's one of the only games out there that really makes the most of those haptic sensors and adaptive triggers. Next up, it's one of the hottest new games to be released this year. Spider-Man Miles Morales launched with the PS5. And in this latest adventure in Marvel's Spider-Man universe, you play as teenager Miles Morales as he gets used to his new life as a Spider-Man. You can play it on the PS4, but on the PS5 the lighting looks better and you can really feel what's coming through the controller. This game is full of superhero action and swinging through New York City looks and feels pretty cool too. Immortals Phoenix Rising is a new adventure game from Ubisoft, available on Xbox, PlayStation and Switch. Playing as Phoenix, your mission is to save the gods from the evil baddie Typhon. You'll explore a massive open world, take on some side quests and restore power to the gods, and basically save the world in this action-packed adventure all based on Greek mythology. Next, if you liked Little Big Planet, then chances are you're gonna love Sackboy A Big Adventure. This time he's back with some new friends and new moves. But this game is different to the original. It focuses more on a story adventure rather than creating your own world. And it's all in 3D. Your mission is to save the sack folk from the evil character Vex. This next-gen game launched on the PS5, but you can play it on the PS4 too. Not only is there a new Fortnite season this Christmas, but Epic Games has announced a new subscription service to go with the new Chapter 2 Season 5. It means that for a monthly fee you get the battle pass for the full season, some extra in-game rewards and V-Bucks to spend every month. If having a boogie in your living room is more your thing, then Just Dance 21 might be right up your street. With 40 new tracks to dance to, I honestly don't know how I'll have the time to master those moves before Christmas. There are some great racing games out there at the moment. Forza Horizon 4, which is exclusive to the Xbox, has just been given a refresh for the Series X and the Series S. It means races look even better and load times are faster. The new off-road rally game Dirt 5 also looks great on next gen and you can even choose if you'd rather have better graphics or smoother gameplay for your races, putting you right in the driving seat to have more control over your gameplay. One racing game that is available on the Switch as well as all other platforms is World Rally Championship 9, which has also been given a next gen upgrade. And if you're playing on the PS5, you will really feel a difference with the controller's new haptic sensors and adaptive triggers. So breaking around a tight corner, for example, feels more realistic as the trigger is harder to press. And finally, possibly one of my favourite next-gen games so far, it's the visually stunning Ori and the Will of the Wisps, available on Xbox, Switch and Windows PC. This sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest has new spells, a vast colourful world, and a new shard system which lets you power up your skills as you journey to find Ori's mysterious true destiny. There have been a few games delayed this year. That means we can look forward to games like Ratchet & Clank on the PS5 and Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga in the new year. Until then, happy Christmas and happy gaming!